everybody, Eduardo Garcia. I'm a professional chef, the owner of the food brand Montana Mex. Our purpose is to inspire folks to play in the kitchen and find nutrition and joy in their life through cooking. I'm here with Jordan Friend with the Montana WIC program. Jordan, nice to be here with you. Nice to be here with you too. We are at the Livingston Farmers Market. Yeah. And why don't you tell us, Jordan, what is the focus on fruits and vegetables this summer, and what is WIC at large? Definitely. So WIC stands for Women, Infants, and Children, and we serve pregnant, postpartum, and breastfeeding women, as well as infants and children up to their fifth birthday. And it's a nutrition program that provides them food mm -hmm. benefits, nutrition education, breastfeeding support, and breastfeeding education as well. And so it's a holistic program to help moms and babies throughout the beginning of life, which yeah. is really wonderful. But we also get to work with dads, grandpas and grandmas, aunts, uncles, caregivers, foster parents, all sorts of people who are caring for children zero to five. And so this summer we've got something really awesome going on called the Summer of Veggies and we have extra produce dollars for our WIC participants. So they get $35 a month, June to September. Wow. And then we also have on top of that a farmer's market program. So our participants each get $30 to spend at farmer's markets this summer in Montana. So this is a big boon to their pocketbook yes. when they're out shopping this summer. This is sure. huge. For most of them it's tripling their produce budget wow. this okay. summer. Yes, and more. So it's really exciting to have them here. We have about 14,000 Montana families who participate each month. Yeah. So this is a great resource for them. I imagine someone coming into a market and a question you gotta have is, like, so? Where do we start? <laughs> How do we get going? Yes, right? exactly. I think that there is some part of a farmer's market that's a little overwhelming or daunting. Mm -hmm. And I think that what we can do today is show how easy and approachable and educational the farmer's market experience is and how easy it is to do with kids. This is my approach when I approach a market. Yeah. I'm gonna walk through one time. Just lay the land, what do we got? Yeah. Then come up with a little bit of a menu in your mind mm -hmm. and then we'll go back through and we'll shop through. Perfect, pick, I love that Pick plan. up the goods that we need. Yeah, we got some herbs. Lovely cucumbers. Cucumbers, jalapenos. Oh, look at this. We got lots of garlic oh, wow. scapes. Nice. Hopefully yes. you don't run out on us. You, you have eggs with you today? Yes, we yes. do. We're just okay. We may use awesome. those. We're designing a menu right now. So far, I'm seeing herbs, vegetables, leafy greens, eggs, flour. So from the walkthrough that we just did, I'm thinking a vegetable fritter is going to be a very versatile recipe for the WIC participants. You can put almost any vegetable in it yeah. and create fun sauces for kids to dip and dunk your yeah. fritters. I bet we could stretch our 30 bucks right here. I bet here. we can make it happen right here. Yeah, definitely. There's some really great produce. Should we go shopping? Excited. Let's do it. Hey, how are you? Good. You shopping? Yeah. Get in there. Ooh, we got some nice beets too. Ooh, that could tread into a little fritter well. Mm -hmm. So when, when picking out a pepper, for me, I'm just making sure it doesn't have blemishes, making sure right, there's making not, sure they're, pretty. they're not wrinkly. The fact that these are firm and hard and plump, yeah. that's fresher than you'll get at any grocery store. Right. Ever. Yeah. Well, I picked them like two hours ago. So. <laughs> Got it. Pretty fresh. <laughs> pretty fresh. Thank it's you like, for the jalapenos so and the beets. Okay. We appreciate it. So as you're walking through and looking at things, are there certain vegetables or produces or fruit that you look at that you think can maximize a budget? If we're dealing with people mm. with limited budgets and they're wanting to stretch it, you got four kids, tell me some of your tips and tricks for maximizing some food money. First off, get to know your farmer, get to know your <laughs> rancher. Michael, it looks great today. They are the ultimate person in the room that wants to maximize the economy of resources in that item. So they're gonna know exactly how to use the whole thing, typically. Say you're working with an onion, you have the bulb on bottom. Right. My guess is that here at the market, they're gonna be selling with all the green tops. Those green tops are super nutritious. You can snip those, you can dehydrate them and save them. You can dice those up and throw them into a burger patty. And so I think that when you're looking at the whole foods, which you can definitely get in abundance here, I'm looking at items and saying, hmm, can I get one or two meals out of that? What you see at the grocery store, it's different what you're seeing at the farmer's market. Yeah. And there's just more you can do with what you get here. Hi, Michael, how are you? Today, what's going on? Right. Well, we're, we're here for green foods. I feel like spinach, yeah. chard, and what about these onions? They all look great. Yeah, Send her I, eight in a bag for four fifty. That I'll take you up on that. Thank you for serving with people. I really it's fun. appreciate it. I have a lot of fun with it. 
We'd love to pick up some eggs today. We're making okay. some vegetable fritters, and okay. we feel like we gotta have some eggs to bind it all together, bring a lot of protein into our dish. Yeah. I'm getting hungry just holding all this amazing stuff. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Bye -bye. Appreciate it. I think we're in the market for some garlic scapes, please. I think that's our produce. I think we did it. So we got some really incredible stuff today. I've got yeah, we did. garlic and onions and spinach and beets. We have jalapeno peppers. Maybe we'll make a dipping sauce, like a creamy aioli with the jalapeno, yes. maybe. The beets, for example, we'll grate the beets into our fritters, but save those greens, chop them up and throw them into a white bean soup, throw them into a chicken soup, throw them into a stir-fried rice. Farmer's market shopping. Such a surplus, not just for today's meal, the vegetable yeah. fritters, but also for so many other uses down the line this week. My absolute favorite part of today was talking with the different farmers. Because we here at the state, we get to hear from the farmers. So we partner with these farmers and they tell us that they love talking to our participants. Yeah. And what happens is they form a relationship and those participants will come back to their booth and then the next week they'll come back to their booth. Yeah. And so it's amazing to see that in action. 100% as you know, a chef, a manufacturer myself, the engagement and feedback with your consumer base, eating your food, there is no better reward. So even from me to the WIC program, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for having Montana Max. This is what we do. And so I feel like you gave us a little bit of a stage to share our love of food with so many others. So very grateful to be a part of this. Thank you so much. We love learning from you and we love learning about how to approach a farmer's market. It was a great day. Thank you. You bet.